This scenery is wonderful. Surely enough to convince anyone to become a wanderer. This just came out of nowhere. What'll happen next? Beats me. Everyone else must also be at a loss. Trying to best the academia in a debate is attempting the impossible. If you really want to try, I won't stop you. It's not like our situation can get any worse. I don't think it's entirely hopeless. To Sharif, Nilu's approach will come off as naive, but that kind of frankness is exactly what they lack the most. Things might turn out differently from what you expect. I am in favor of such a romantic feat. No playwright will turn down a compelling underdog story. Sure, in fiction, but I'm not sure how well that will translate to reality. I'm not saying that I don't support you, Nilu. If you need my help, just say the word. Anything is better than just standing aside and watching the theater get demolished. I'm also pitching in. Let's show the Academia that we have some fight in us! Thank you, everyone. I feel a lot less nervous with your support. Not to rain on your parade. But my father is a real hard guy to deal with. He's erudite, meticulous, demanding, and exceedingly familiar with rigorous logic. It'll be extremely difficult to beat him in a debate. You all already knew that. But you just didn't want to hurt Nilu's feelings. But when all's said and done, aren't you hurting her just the same? That's enough, Inaya! <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, I've ruined the mood. I just can't force myself to expect a positive outcome. Nilu shouldn't have to push herself for the sake of an impossible goal. Yeah, it's way too early to give up! You're right, Inaya. We're up against the Academia. Everyone knows that they're very powerful. Being skeptical might actually be the more normal response. But I still want to try. I'm reluctant to just let Zubair Theater go. And it's not just me. I think everyone else here feels the same way. If we're unhappy, we should speak up and let our voices be heard. Say what's on your mind, and do what you think should be done. If we fail after that, then at least we won't have any regrets. I mean, after all, the only thing we can control right now is our choice at this very moment. I understand what you're trying to say. I also have my own intense feelings of anger and regret. Then, could I trouble you to tell your father about our plan for a debate? You can still get in touch with your family, right? Yes, I can. Then, please help us pass on my request. I've never participated in a debate, and truth be told, I'm still not really confident in myself. But since we've decided on a debate, I'll do my best to prepare for it. I'll gather everyone's thoughts and let them be known to all during the debate. I, by myself, definitely don't have enough wisdom to beat your father. But what about the entire theater combined? Then we should have a chance, right? Right. That's right, Miss Nilu! Beat the bad guy! Justice will prevail! Make him eat dirt! <laughs> you two. We aren't getting into a fight. But thank you for your encouraging words. I'll do my best. Well said back there, Nilu. I felt that I might have said a bit too much. Anyway, we better start preparing now. First, let's see what everyone thinks about the situation. All right, time to pull everyone's thoughts. When the day comes, I'll get my friends and the theater's customers to come and support Nilu. If anything goes wrong, I'll have them scream and shout and drown out whatever Sharif says. Uh, I can't do that? <sighs> Fine, I'll think of something else. I didn't expect you all to challenge the Academia. And that reminded me of my younger years. Back then, I feared nothing and no one, and I was always charging into the most dangerous of places. I can't do things like that anymore, but... Those were some of the best times of my life. Sorry. 
If the theater really ends up getting demolished, then you, Soreen, and Abby will all... It's all right. There's no need to think such heavy thoughts. Even if the building gets demolished, its people will still all be here. Have faith in the resilience of an adventurer. We can always figure something out. But won't you have regrets if things just come to an abrupt end? It'd be like when you were forced to stop adventuring. Ah, oh, so that's what you were worrying about. Relax. I've had a lot of experience with regret. Things are painful at first, but as they say, time heals all wounds. Look at us now. Serene and Abi are happy. And Serene has also just passed his theater exam. He can start acting soon. He was thrilled because he can soon perform on the same stage as you. We wouldn't be here if it weren't for our past struggles. And would Serene have become a happier person? That's hard to say. Are you trying to make us feel better? Yes, but I truly do mean what I say. Being here at the theater has taught me an important lesson. The most important thing about an experience is how you choose to interpret it. I can choose to believe that my life ended with my husband's death, or I can choose to believe that it was a blessing in disguise for Serene and Abi. Similarly, even if this theater disappears, a new beginning might just be around the corner. Good and bad are all human-made concepts. It all depends on how we choose to see things. You have a point. Nilu. I know how important Zubair Theater is to you. But you don't have to be so nervous. We're all here with you. The theater won't go down so easily. Thank you, Miss Raycar. No need to thank me. If anything, you inspired me with your bravery. You might have what it takes to become an excellent adventurer. Y you're too kind. All right, I gotta cheer up. I can't waste everyone's words of encouragement. <sighs> I feel a lot better. <laughs> Good. My children and I will be cheering you on at the debate. I've gained a whole new level of respect for you. Inaya was right. It's true that I couldn't bear to bring down Nilu. It wasn't out of pity or anything, though. I, I just felt like I didn't have the right to say anything. After all, Nilu was the one who bravely stepped up and proposed to fight back. I didn't have that kind of courage or initiative. I'd be a terrible person if I spoke badly of Nilu without doing anything to help. She knows better than any of us how difficult this path will be. So, you've already developed some prejudices against me. And to think, I was just about to put forward a suggestion. Oh, Paima will listen to that. <laughs> Although, I know not if you have a new answer to my previous question. Now seems like an appropriate time to revisit it. What do you think is the meaning of art? Oh, this again? We probably do need to tackle this question if we want to prove the value of the arts. I don't know how to explain it, but all I know is that when my performance makes the audience happy, I also become very happy. Does that count as a meaning? You answered him so seriously. Careful, Nilu, this guy's ramblings never make any sense. No, no. Nilu's answer far surpasses yours, and it is close to my own. The meaning of art comes not from its creators, but from its audience. In other words, only art that can be appreciated by others will impart its essence and value upon the minds of its audience. This is something that the academia can never understand. I once pursued the mastery of art, much like how a researcher would chase wisdom and knowledge. However, the more of a connoisseur I became, the less I felt I understood. I began to question what it truly meant for art to be understood at all. I found that I could comprehend even the most complex and sophisticated of works, and yet somehow that provided me with little solace. 
I remained even perplexed about this conundrum until I visited this theater and watched one of Nilu's performances. It was that life-changing? Everyone here had a joyous part in the overall experience. The actors upon the stage basked in the love of their audience, while those in the house immersed themselves in the wondrous ambiance. In all honesty, from a purely critical point of view, the performances here are exceedingly average. Hey, don't say something like that. But what bewildered me was how, despite the performance's middling quality, they captivated their whole audience. They captivated even me. I realized then that I had walked the wrong road. The mastery of art was never what I truly wanted. I left the so-called frontiers of artistic research and came to this theater. For this is where I can finally find what I seek. Art will no longer be a castle in the sky. Whether it be inspiring or entertaining, art must be appreciated by others to confer value. If art cannot accomplish that, then it is meaningless. When you put it that way, Mr. Zubair and I refuse to follow the Academia's orders to change our shows for a similar reason. To put it simply, we were afraid that our shows would lose their meaning if people couldn't understand them. I once stood in the spotlight, but I relinquished fame and acclaim for the freedom I enjoy today. I care not for where my feet may take me next, but Nilu, you need to remember one thing. You already stand upon the finest stage there is, and that is a rare gift that should never be taken for granted. You cannot give it up, not even to the Academia. I understand. Thank you for your words of encouragement, Mr. Kasani. Dust the cobwebs away from the eyes of those scholars. You really seem to care a lot about the theater. Once you get to know him, you'll realize that he's actually a big softie at heart. He'll even help out with furniture repair and painting the stage. Wow. Hyman didn't think he had that in him at all. No one is allowed to bully Miss Milu. Watch out, Mr. Bad Guy! Pow! Bam! This just came out of nowhere. What'll happen next? Beats me. Everyone else must also be at a loss. Mr. Zubair! We're trying to put together a list of arguments that might be useful. Any ideas? It won't be difficult to explain our position. They're in the wrong, and they know it. I have meticulously managed this theater's affairs for years, and I have abided by every procedure and obtained every permit. I did all of that to protect ourselves if something like this were to occur. I didn't expect them to disregard the rules altogether. Yes, I know. But anyone who's staying at the theater is one of us. If I can't even protect the members of the theater from outside pressure, then I have failed in my duty as a manager. In summary, you need sufficient confidence and strict adherence to the rules. At least for now, they don't have the authority to demolish the theater. As long as you double down on that point and force them to concede it, you'll gain an advantage. All right, got it. <sighs> I've seen many situations like this before. The Academia sure likes to get its nose into everyone's business. While you prepare for the debate, I will also prepare the theater for the potential aftermath. It's best to prepare for the worst outcome. Once you're done chatting, do me a favor and tell our customers that we're canceling all of our shows. Do we really have to? Right now, no one's in the right frame of mind to perform. I have to consider both our staff and our customers. This is the only way. Nilu, you are incredible. With your talent and youth, you had the least to lose out of all of us. And yet you were still the first to take a stand. I've never thought about leaving your theater, Mr. Zubair. I truly love this place, and I want to keep dancing here. I also want to keep dancing with everyone else. You're becoming more and more like her. 
do your best. We'll do all that we can, and leave the rest to fate. Hey! My teacher. She was an excellent dancer, but she's retired now. If we have time later, I'd be happy to... You're here. Is the theater actually closing? He's been worried sick for a while now. He wouldn't stop talking the whole way back. H hey, you two. Uh, what exactly happened? Did someone come down from the academia? Yes. He told us that we have to shut down the theater within 30 days, and that it's going to be demolished. What the heck? That came with no warning. <sighs> They're messing with us again. Don't tell me you'll have to listen to him. Come on. You know the answer to that. Yeah, it is a direct order from the Academia. There's no need to worry, though. I'm preparing for a public debate with the Academia. If I win, we might be able to overturn things and change their minds. Really? That's terrific. You have my full support, no doubt about that. Mine too! So what was their excuse, anyway? They still not a fan of the theater's programs? Yeah. Something like that. Good thing they have the power to make rash decisions about things they don't even understand, huh? Yeah, they need to touch more grass, not books. Exactly. They want to look down on us? <laughs> we'll look down on them first. Don't worry. Everyone here has your back. The Academia's recklessness won't get them any praise. Right. They might think that some forms of knowledge are more valuable than others, but everyone can equally appreciate art. If they don't believe that, send them my way. I got them beat on this subject. Maybe you can prepare some questions on the details of dance performance to make things harder for them at the debate. Hmm. Sounds like a good idea. Maybe that's something I should do. Ignore him. He's joking. Just do things your way. No matter what, we will always support you. Thank you all so much. Your understanding and support make me feel a lot better. There are always more solutions than problems. If you need help during the debate, just shout and the entire Grand Bazaar will be at your beck and call. <laughs> Gotta show them who has the people's support. I feel like the pieces are starting to fall into place. Let's head back to the theater and organize our thoughts. Sounds good! Inaya should also be back soon. Have you seen Miss Inaya? No, Miss Nilo. Miss Inaya isn't back yet. Wasn't she just passing on a message? Does she really need this much time? Uh, oh no. Traveler, Paimon, I think I've messed up big time. What if Inaya never planned to come back? What? It's just a gut feeling, but... Knowing her, she probably feels like she's completely responsible for what happened. She probably thinks that all of this happened because she was staying here. Oh, right. As soon as her father showed up, she said that her father was targeting her. So she's felt like that this whole time. She has a long-standing conflict with her father. That's why she ran away from home. She doesn't think that we can win the debate. And she doesn't want to implicate us. So she thought leaving was the best thing to do. Mm-hmm. And then she just quietly left afterward. Exactly. She's being too pessimistic. How will you know if you don't try? Anyway, first things first. We have to get her back. But where should we start? Sumeru is huge! I think I might know. Let's start by looking outside the city. Before I brought her to Zubair Theater, she was staying at a remote campsite. She got a fever from drinking unclean water, so I carried her back. If she has nowhere else to go after leaving the theater, she might go back and strike out on her own again. Then let's go take a look! Yes, let's hurry! Someone had stayed here very recently. But we can't confirm if it was Inaya.
there or not. Let's take a look around first. <sighs> Did you hear that? I heard it too. Let's investigate. It sounds like we're getting closer. The voice is coming from over there! Yes, we're almost there. Stay back! Look at Sinaya! She's being attacked by wild animals! in this area before. They chased after me for a long time. Sorry. I'm causing trouble for you again. Why did you leave by yourself? You really don't think we have a chance at winning the debate? No. I just thought it would take too much effort. Everything happened because of me. If I'm gone, then the situation will resolve itself. towards a happier ending. No one should be singled out for blame. It's all right if it's me. As long as the theater won't get demolished. You guys are the kindest people I've ever met. You shouldn't suffer so much because of me. Listen to me, Inaya. Even if you were the reason that all of this happened, no one would blame you. Mr. Zubair said that you're one of us, so that means we will protect you. No matter what happens, we'll stand as one. Nilu, there will always be a victim. Whether it's me or the theater. You can't eat your cake and have it too. You can't win a debate against the academia. Especially since your opponent will be my father. My father is an extremely demanding man. He's always wanted me to become an exceptional researcher and his academic successor. I tried my best to meet his expectations and did everything I could. But he still wasn't satisfied. Or rather, he had just never been satisfied with me. I'm no genius. But whenever he berated me, it was always as if he was asking me, Why aren't you a genius? Yeah. Like I'd know. So that's why you ran away from home? At first, I thought the father would slowly come to terms with reality. But he just wouldn't stop berating me. For one exam, I earned the third highest score. I thought that all my hard work had finally paid off. And that I could finally make father feel some modicum of joy. I even used the embroidery skills. I learned at school to make a commemorative gift for him. I thought, even this daughter can make her father happy sometimes. Right? I see. When we were embroidering your gift before, I didn't feel like you were new at it. Yeah. Sorry for not bringing it up. These are not pleasant memories for me. I was tired of him yelling at me every day. All I wanted was to see him smile at me. But he was more angry than ever before once I'd given him my embroidery and told him my score. He flung my present to the side. You think you should be proud of third place? Reflect on why you were at first. I forgot how long I'd cried for. I only remember my parents arguing. My mother also thought he went overboard. They argued for such a long time. My father eventually stormed out and slammed the door behind him. I didn't get a single sentence of apology. Or any words of comfort. I've completely given up. 
We're destined to never understand each other. How horrible. I don't think you can beat him in a debate. Because he doesn't even understand what kind of place a theater is. He can never understand the relationship performers have with their audience. His life is devoid of camaraderie or friendship. He just wants everything to happen according to his wishes, as if the world revolves around him. What we cherish, our little place in this world, means nothing to him. It sounds like your past has had a huge impact on you. I understand now, Inaya. But when we were preparing for the debate, I heard something quite wise. Maybe it'll help you. The most important thing about an experience is how you choose to interpret it. Miss Raycar has gone through a lot in her life, but she told us that she's very happy to live at the theater now. Although she ran into misfortune, it led her down a new path in life. She sees that as a blessing. She told me that the most important thing about an experience is how you choose to interpret it. Interpret it? I can sympathize with your unhappiness at home, but after you ran away, you ended up at the theater and became one of us. Those unhappy experiences allowed you to really cherish your bonds with everyone, and also gave you the opportunity to become friends with us. Don't let your past suffering keep you from the new life that you've worked so hard to find. Oh. Let the past stay in the past. When I ran away from home, I swore that I would leave my family conflicts behind. But you're right. All I'm doing now is falling right back into it. Maybe you'll disappoint him, but that doesn't matter. You have a new future waiting for you. Don't let go of the answer you've worked so hard to find. That's right. If we put our heads together, there's bound to be a way. You're right. There's nothing to be afraid of. I'm not trying to meet his expectations. So why should I give up because of him? I can't afford to lose anything more. We have to win. The debate will not only protect Zubair Theater, but also allow me to settle things with Father. That's the spirit! Let's go. I'll tell my father about the debate. I know him very well. Even if he looks down on us. I know how to make him accept. Alright, let's go. Well, I'm off to meet with him. Please wait here for me. Okay. Looking forward to your good news. <sighs> that should be everything. The only thing left to do now is to wait until the debate. I'm not sure why, but I'm getting nervous again. You were great, Nilu! Your words won over Inaya! Talk like that during the debate and you'll get an easy win! Thanks for that, Paimon. But I still feel like it'll be an uphill battle. I need to be calmer, cooler, and more collected. Yeah. I'm acting as everyone's representative, so I'll need to act brave. Even if I won't feel like it. Huh? What's left? Huh? What a strange question. Isn't a theater just... a theater? Why would it need to be anything else? Wait. You're not asking what the theater does, but what it is. Let me think. Um... How can I put this? Hmm... Not quite right, but it's close. I almost have it. Ah! Got it! When we were trying to find a way to save the theater, we heard many stories not of the theater, but of the people whose lives have been touched by it. Zubair Theater is our reason for coming together. 
it connects us all in unique ways. In other words, it's like a bond. A bond? The theater provides money for Miss Raycar and her children, inspiration for Mr. Kasani, and enjoyment for the people of the Great Bazaar. It also gives Inaya shelter from her family. It has brought us together after taking care of every single one of us. And its story won't end here. In the future, many more people will come to the theater and receive its blessing. And we'll all be there for them. Our warm, welcoming community will show them the same kindness we were shown in the past. Aside from the delivery of performances, isn't this another reason for Zubair Theater's continued existence? Yeah, that makes sense. We definitely felt that warmth during the preparations for the event. But Paimon doesn't see how this will help in the debate. Oh, gotcha! No matter how strong an opponent is, they'll have to go on the defensive if pressed on a weak point. I feel like that's another prong in our attack. Thank you so much. Paimon also feels a lot more relieved. Let's show him what we got! Sorry for the wait. I'm back. Things went a lot more smoothly than I expected. It didn't take long for him to accept the debate. And it's set for two days from now. Why are you all smiling so much? Did something good happen? We realized that your dad might not be as scary as we had thought. <laughs> we just finished our prep. Rest easy. It will all turn out well. We have to win. No, we will win, Inaya. <sighs> Fingers crossed. 